Ty Bartell, Anthony Hartwig with another edition of Player Profile. This time we head into the Northeast 8 Struthers Wildcats community with their senior center, Mickey Tafe. Mickey, how we doing today? Doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. And how we doing? I'm doing good, Ty. How are you doing? We, we're all doing good. I think and, we're all doing good. Uh, Mickey, we got you on. You're a senior setter for Struthers, and I like to ask all the setters the first mindset that it takes to be a setter on volleyball. You're the quarterback of the floor. You you touch the ball more than anybody. You have to get the hitters in the right spots and make sure that you give them the chance to shine. What's that been like for you to take that that role in this team and, and run with it? Well, I mean, I've been a setter ever since seventh grade. So doing that that many years right now, it's just like, you know, it's all natural to me. You know, I love running our team, making sure everyone's doing good. And I, you know, always like to check up on them too. And if they're having a stressful game and stuff, I make sure calm them down, you know. Talking about your earliest memories in volleyball, what are some of those that come to mind too when you, uh, when you think back when you first started this sport? Um, when we first started, I feel like it was more just like a fun time. You know, we never took it super serious. You know, it was everyone who played, you know, our team a little got a little bit smaller as the years went on, but still, you know, all of our friends joining together, just trying out the sport for the first time. It was, it was a lot of fun. What got you into it? What made you want to try it out? What made you want to stay once you did try it out? Um, well, I was usually, I did a lot of sports. So once we had the option to do volleyball, I was like, you know, might as well try it out. Um, and then once I did it, I fell in love with it. it was, it's been my favorite sport ever since then. Uh, I know the, the number of sports you were in, involved in, too. Football as well, too, as part of the Struthers Hard Hats, too. And, like, just talking about your love that you – when you fell in love with sports, too, and you kind of fell in love with all of them at once, what was uh, what was sports like for you, too, at that time? And what, what made you kind of jump into all these sports and just want to try all of them out? I mean, I always loved being, like, on the go all the time, always having something to do. And, you know, doing sports, I feel like, is another way to stay, like, active with all of my friends, too. You know, always being with them and just having a team at all times. You're always busy, which means it's a real balancing act. You have to handle your volleyball responsibilities. You have to handle your schoolwork. And then you have to still be a kid and have a social life. What's What's it like to balance all that? Um, I mean, it can get stressful at some moments, but most of the time I do find ways to fit everything in line. You know, I go to school, do volleyball, make sure I'm caught up on my homework and everything. But once you find that balance, I think it's just smooth sailing from there. On top of that, too, volunteer work as a firefighter, too. And you don't hear that from a lot of uh, high schoolers, too. When you talk about what got you involved in that, what what was the initial interest in that and what's kept you involved in it since? So um, when last year, my junior year, we took a um, careers class trying to get us interested in different careers. And we had different people come in and talk. And um, we had some of the Shudders Fire Department guys. They came in and talked to us. And I, I found my interest there. And I know my Uncle Dan, he's a firefighter. And my grandpa used to be a firefighter. So I went down to um, Shudder Station. And they gave me a tour and everything. And I think since then, I had a real big interest in it. And you know, they talked about helping the community. And I think I, that was something I was really interested in. And I stuck with it. I mean, we we joke about athletes being, you know, role models and heroes and leaders on the court. But when you talk about firefighting, you're talking about real heroes that are literally putting their life on the line. Uh, what's it mean to you to be just a part of that community and obviously have family heritage in that in that job career? Um, I mean, it means a lot. I think, you know, I talked to my Uncle Dan about it a lot and just being with the community. I know people you know, putting their trust in us. I think that's an amazing thing to have. I love, you know, having that feeling that people trust in us and just, it's a whole like brotherhood and sisterhood. You talk about keeping the grades up as well, uh, as well. And you're looking at going into U Youngstown State University this year and you're taking classes there, preparing yourself for the actual thing as well. And Anthony mentioned the balancing act, too. Where do you find the time to, to manage this while having a job, while being in sports, while, while doing volunteer work? How do you manage it all on your plate? I mean, it's it's surprisingly 
okay. You know, I thought I was going to be a lot more stressed, but as long as you, I keep a to-do list a lot. So as long as I get the things done, you know, I don't, I try my best not to procrastinate on stuff. And if I get the things I need to get done, then usually I have no problem with, you know, getting everything done. Ty's just managed. I think that's a little bit of an understatement because you're not just managing. You're you're killing it with flying colors. A straight A student. Um, how much how much pride do you take in in saying that and saying that you know not only are you getting your work done but you're doing it really well and, and getting great grades in the classroom. I take a lot of pride in it. You know, I make sure that I always want. You know, I hold myself up to very high standards. So as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I make sure that you know I don't fall down the slope or anything. <laughs> You talk to a lot of your teammates too, and other people throughout the the school and the community, and you you are looked up as as a leader too for that team. And it's 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 a team that went through some coaching changes as well these last few years. So it's always difficult when you got different minds kind of telling you what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be playing the sport. How have you been able to balance that throughout the different coaching styles and everything, and still have that positive attitude for your team that they're able to still look up to? Well, I know with our coaching situation, I know. Um, each like time we had a different coach, we always put our faith in them. You know, we gave them our all and I made sure like our team knew that, like, you know, give our coaches a chance. And even this year with, um, we have our three new coaches this year, they've been doing an amazing job. And, you know, every time we do, we always just try to keep a positive attitude with them and they've been doing really, really good this year. So. We said at the top, it's your senior season, which means you have to deal with all the emotions that senior season can bring. What's that been like to, to deal with all the all the you know emotions that senior year can bring? Um yeah, so senior season, I mean, we it, we know that we've had a bunch of, you know, the coaching situations in the past. So knowing that this is like our last year, I think we've just tried to make the best of it. And this year has been going really good for us so far. And you know, to see the progress that we went through from the beginning of the season and now it's it's crazy how much we've you know progressed Talking about senior night, Mick, it's the night that everyone, all athletes wait for. Every night, you know, that passes prior to you see your seniors that go through the the ranks and that they have their senior nights. And it's finally your turn. What's that feeling like for you? And what's the emotional level for you and the rest of your seniors knowing that this is your night now? Well, I think it's it's a very emotional thing to go through. You know, you do see all of the seniors before you you know, have their night and then now knowing it's like our turn coming up and there's five of us this year. So we've been playing together ever since we were like 13, 14 years old. And, you know, it's very emotional knowing it's like the last time we're going to play together, but the memories that we had along the way is what makes it all worth it. Let's talk about those memories. What are some of your favorite memories that you've made with this team? Um, I have a lot. I think usually we go out to eat after a lot of the games. And I think just having those memories, you know, we do a lot of team bonding stuff. We've went over some of our teammates house and we went swimming and just like small memories like that, hanging out after practices and making sure we're all stay connected as like outside of volleyball and not just volleyball friends. What were some of your role models inside and outside of the sport? Um, so inside of the sport, I know when I was a freshman, um, Jessica Hughes, she was, she plays for a college team now. Um, she was one of my biggest role models when I was a freshman, cause she was the one senior who always helped me out. And, you know, she always made sure that I didn't feel like, you know, intimidated by any of them. And she was just always super sweet to us. And then, um, outside of volleyball, um, I'd have to say my biggest role model, I mean, I didn't really have one specific role model. I guess just my entire family for, you know, always being there for me and supporting me. They, you know, showed me that I could always do anything. So. You're a senior, so we have to talk about your future and what you plan to do after high school. We all obviously talked about your your college uh, classes at YSU, but what kind of career path are you thinking about and, and what kind of things do you want to see you do yourself do in the future? Um, so I'm definitely thinking about um, something in the medical area. So um, right now I'm thinking about becoming a physician's assistant. Um, still a little undecided, but definitely something medical. We're so excited for your future. We're so excited for your uh, your senior night tonight too, Mick. When 
Before we let you go, though, we always like to give our student athletes a chance to kind of thank some of those supporters that you you mentioned to that have been there and helped you out along the way. So this is your chance to shout them out now and give uh, give your props to all those people that have been there for you. Okay, yeah, of course. I mean, I would definitely want to thank my dad for supporting me, you know, paying for my club, everything. You know, I did club teams too. Um, thank my sister for, you know, coming to my games, always being there for me. Um, I also want to thank any of the upperclassmen who I had along the way because they always made me feel supported. Um, and then just thank the rest of my um, family for always being there and supporting me too. We can't let anyone from Struthers go without asking the big question. You play in the field house. I'm sure you've been to a basketball game there as a, as a fan. So what is your favorite concession stand food at the field house, which has the best concession stand in all the area? Hmm. Well, I used to love our cotton candy, but I don't believe we have it anymore. So I would say mm-hmm. probably our nachos. It's going to have to be the thing you bring back. They put the X on the cotton candy. What are you doing? <laughs> whatever Bob, it Jack? takes, Ty. We're going to donate them. Whatever it takes to get them a new cotton candy machine. We will not stand for this. <laughs> Mickey, we want to thank you, though, so much for taking the time out of your very busy days to come on and join us and get a little bit of a profile done for you. We wish you the best of luck on senior night. We wish you the best of luck in everything going forward. All right. Thank you.